right, what's up guys? And uh, good morning, I am here up at Bowser Subaru and I'm gonna get new tires today, new race tires. Um, and I'm gonna show you guys exactly what my tires look like after um, about a year and a half of autocrossing. And this is what's gonna happen to your tires if you go racing. Uh, it's not a big deal, I mean, you kinda expect it. But let me turn the wheel fully over for you guys. And um, as you can see, there is pretty much no tread whatsoever left on. There's a little line right here. Other than that, they're pretty bald. Um, let's see what this side looks like. Same deal. I mean, they wore it incredibly evenly. I, you know, I cannot complain at all. Even, even the sidewalls here, well, not the sidewall, but the uh, edge of the tire here, the outside edge, uh, it's held up really good. The backs are about the same. I can't really show you guys that, but uh, I'm really happy with them. The RE uh, 11 A's. Um, I got them beginning of last season, right at the beginning, and uh, they held up really good. So no complaints, go out and get them if you still can. They're actually, uh, you can't get the 11 A's anymore, you can just get the regular 11's. Uh, but they're really great tires, they're really great for daily driving, good for racing, good balance between the two. And uh, I'm not going to tell you guys what I'm going to get this time, but I'm going to show you when the car comes out and it's all done. So stay tuned. Uh, it'll be about an hour and a half for me, but it'll probably be about 20 seconds for you. So see you in a little bit. All right, so I know that for all you car guys, this is actually a uh, kind of weird event, but like to see somebody else drive your car, even if it's just into like a dealership or into a garage, it's kind of weird. So uh, I don't know if you're gonna see it right now. I just looked over, but the guy's checking out the car over there. Uh, he's probably getting the VIN number and some other things. So I will let you know when he pulls it in. So I was just taking a walk around up here because it's going to be like an hour and a half and uh, I just saw something down in the parking lot and we're going to go check it out. See that down there? Well, actually two of them. That is a legacy wagon. Uh, looks slightly modified. It's got a hood, well, the hood scoop comes stock, but it uh, looks like it's got some wheels on it and stuff. And then we have this little gem down here, which is like a early 90s first generation legacy. And then there's also a new STI down there and a WRX over in that corner. So let's go check these ones out. All right, so obviously first up here we have this, uh, I was wrong, it is not just AWX, it is actually an STI. Um, it's got some wheels on it, a lot of red accent trim, you know, on the, uh, on the uh, badge there, on the wheels and definitely on the front too, but it's kind of neat uh, exhaust, mud flaps, just the normal. Uh, got some other cars here, the STI, let's go check out these, uh, these ones over here, these Legacies. Yep, we got new WX wheels on them. Um, but other than that, looks looks pretty much just stock in general. Got some painting supplies in the back. Um, automatic, but you know, it's kind of neat. I actually do like the, I uh, actually like the tires on there. I mean, the, the wheels on there. And we got this nice beater over here. Looks like it's seen better days, but uh, still, still kind of hanging in there maybe. Um, yeah, a little bit beat, a little bit beat. Um, but still amazing that it's running after like, you know, 20 years. Um, and then finally over here, we have this blue uh, new STI. Looks to be in great shape. And obviously, because it would be new, so that would be uh, pretty cool. I'd love to get one someday, actually, but uh, quite expensive. A little expensive to maintain, too. Uh, rally armor mud flaps, um, tint. Probably just exhaust, but overall, just pretty standard and uh, great car, I think. So I'm rolling around up here, just walking, and I come across this little guy, which is a Nissan 370Z. Z. So uh, looks like it is new and for sale, I believe. Ah, it's automatic. What can I say? Mine is too. <laughs> um, but here, yeah, it'd be good if it was clean. It's a little dirty. But uh, brand new. Um, we got a price on here. 33. Yeah, 33. All equipped and all that crap. But uh, definitely not bad. I mean, I, I, overall with these, I like the, uh, the body style probably the most. Um, it just looks really kind of like, you know, with the longer hood and then the kind of sleek, sleek and like sloping, you know, back end of it kind of going to the uh, trunk area. I don't know, it's just a cool design. I kind of really liked it. Okay, so we're all done here and uh, tires are on. 
as you can see, they still got the uh, white lettering on it um, and some crud on the side that needs to be cleaned up. And this brake dust is everywhere, so that needs to be cleaned up. You can see how bad that is. That's really bad. Um, but they are, they're different. They feel a little bit um, uh, less squishy. I thought they were going to be a little bit more squishier, especially on the side, uh, than, uh, than my old ones, the RE11s. But uh, quite honestly, I'm pretty impressed so far um, just from driving it home. I didn't honestly get on it or, um, you know, really try them out at, like, autocross or whatever. But... Um, they're a little bit, not loud, but you can hear a little bit of a, a howl, not like nothing bad, especially the exhaust kind of drones it out once I get past, uh, you know, 2,500 RPM, start getting up near like 50 miles an hour. But overall, I mean, pretty good. Um, wheels need touched up a little bit. They said they actually didn't use the uh, typical way to get them off, which would scrape this. Um, there are a little bit of scrapes. That's, that's normal. That's how it always is. Um, so yeah, pretty impressed so far. Um, one thing I do not like, I do not like this little fire thing on the, on the sidewall, but you, do, you deal with what you got. Um, they should hold up pretty good for autocross, and that's mainly what I bought them for as a replacement for my old ones. And I always debate these were um, 205, 55, 16s because I have 16-inch wheels, and I always debate going bigger. However, um, these ones, I always got to remember, the, this tire size was actually on sale for $80 versus the typical 140 that they normally go for. So... I got them for a big discount for um, for what they are. So, so far, pretty happy, but we'll see. I got to definitely clean them up and make them look nice um, and then actually test them out, out on the track at some point. So stay tuned, and I'll actually have like a little review of that once I do get them out there, and I can give my full impressions on them after driving around for them on a little bit. But uh, if you are in the market for any type of like an autocross tire, um, in that price range, you know, if, if you can only spend $80 and this is your size, uh, definitely go for these ones. They are going to be your top autocrossing tire for $80, bucks, definitely. Um, I'd even have to argue with the $130, $140 ones, they're probably going to be at least on par. Probably not the best. The RE70 ones are going to be your best bet, honestly, but these are probably going to be a damn close second. So we will see how that all pans out. So. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, I'm not going to show you washing the car or anything or anything else after this, but um, I will give you updates later. So peace out and hope you guys have a nice day.